What's up, my boys? Today we are in a fishy mood. Yes, because we have done a food tour in Lisbon. We have done a seafood tour in Lisbon. And then all of you guys have replied to us, uh uh, if you are in Lisbon, you have to drive to Susimbra because there you will have the best fish in the Lisbon area and you will have cheaper fish because apparently we pay way too much in Lisbon. So this place, Lobo do Mar, has been recommended by a lot of you guys because I asked all of you on Instagram where should we go for seafood and what should we eat and this place has by far one with the most recommendations. And we are not doing the seafood tour by ourselves because we have familiar faces with us. <laughs> Howdy everyone. Jason is in the house and uh, another bro is in the actual house we're going now. And uh, what are you looking forward to the most today? Food <laughs> and wine. What? <laughs> so I can't have wine because I'm on a diet. Amelie can't have wine. On... So yeah, we're gonna live this day through these guys. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be sure to have enough for all three of you. To the way. Look who's here. To the way. It's shy boy. Can you say? Can you? Can you try to say hello without being shy? Bom dia. Tem fome? Tem muita fome. Hoje eu falamos muito português com juntos. Juntos. This restaurant is famous for the concept of getting the fresh fish directly from the counter, and then they will prepare it for you, and then you can enjoy it. This uh, hat ah. from this curvin. What a beauty. Wow, that's amazing. So what do you think of this restaurant, Jung, so far? Well, you know how they say the the less fancy it looks, the better the food is. And uh, that is uh, what we are in for here. It's uh, super Portuguese. That's that's the best way of describing it. <laughs> How dare you? Given that you are local, um, do you have any like um, close bond to the Sardinia? <laughs> close bond. I think when I was young, we always had many Sardinias. E disseram acabaram de dizer que a sardinha tem que se comer por cima do pão para depois o molhinho todo que sai da sardinha e para e para o pãozinho. Sure. Yeah. So we are having this piece of fish, which is uma cordinha. It tastes exactly as if a very nice sirloin steak turned into a fish. It's very juicy. It's very elegant. It's like dancing with the prettiest girl on prom night. You never tried that though? No. How would you know? <laughs> Time for my favorite fish, a gropa. A gropa in Portuguese. But we've had this many times yeah, before. Yeah, we have. But uh, they say it's fresher and better in Sicilia. So that's what we're gonna see if it is. Okay, I didn't expect this because it's actually quite dry. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because it has been lying on the plate for too long, but it is dry. It's not as... Uh... Who's it been lying to? One thing you could do to make it less dry is uh, pour some lemon on it. But actually that is uh, not uh, normal etiquette in Portugal. A lot of Portuguese, they, um, they say that lemons are no-go. So we have to do it the Portuguese way. And yeah, I do agree, it's quite dry. A Covinha foi mais melhor. Is it the only right way for Portuguese to eat a fish without lemon? Let us know. As he talks, he paints a picture with words and with gestures.
Amelia, we're allowed in the kitchen. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. They have choco frito, they have lapas, they have all the things that we want to have here. They even have barnacles. Gambas are white, sweet cigarros. A crapos, quantos horas? A cozer 20 minutos. Assim, 20 minutos. So 20 minutes. That is uh, how they make the choco frito. They are probably eight people working in 10 square meters right here. Está vivo? It's alive? Sim, aqui ainda vai mexer um pouco. Isto é com ele que tem sido com sal assim. Sim, sim, sim. Muito obrigado. Um prazer. Obrigado, thank you very much. Oh my god, you should have seen the, the kitchen, how they cook it. Oh really? It's, uh, it, 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 it doesn't get more charming than that. This may be the best seafood uh, meal we are about to have, uh, judging from our visit in the kitchen. They have lapas here, which is very unique to Susimbra because it's very unique to Madeira. Usually they get the lapas from Madeira and it's not fresh. These lapas are caught right here. I cannot express my excitement right now because I want to know if these are better than the ones we have on Madeira. I'm like a kid at around the Christmas tree. They have a different taste. They're similar, but I don't know if the taste is just as good, but they taste amazing still. And like they're hairy, look. I thought they were delicious. Lots of flavor, lots of garlic, lots of herbs. Could you like dive into the whole um, plate? No. Like could you go on, like, you know, once you pop, you can't stop with Pringles? Three. I'm a three up a man. Three up. <laughs> That's how I am with girls. <laughs> I like the flavor, but it's just too big of a mouthful. Honestly, don't be nasty. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's okay. It's not spectacular. I'll give it a six out of ten. What about the lapay? Seven. Yeah. Only seven. You love lapay. Well, I guess there's a reason they're native to Madeira. Cebatera recheada. Cebatera recheada is what we are having right now, and? and it basically just means stuffed crab. And the chef actually explained that it's all raw. And then we have the most well-known dish from Cisimbra, which is the choco frito. I think we have had 400 comments from people saying you must go to Cisimbra and try the choco frito. Are you in love? <laughs> what? It's like rubber. Okay, so it is actually very, very delicious. It reminds me a lot like uh, calamaris. It's not as crispy as I expected it to be. I actually really like it. But I think we tried it before, but this one is definitely better. And that's why you have to come to Cisimbra to get a choco frito. Onwards to the, um, one of usually my favorite things, crab. Yeah, it doesn't taste like crab. The shock frit was good, but the sepatata was perfect. By the way, we forgot the best part of the crab. Look at this piece of uh, heaven here. So in case you don't know Susimbra, I can tell you that uh, it actually is a quite charming uh, little uh, town. 
and this is one of the examples here you have these small narrow streets but when you're also at the sea it's quite an, an unusual contrast it's worth going here even if you don't eat what a shitty view action we are at Fortmiga and Fortmiga means and in Portuguese but we are not gonna eat ants I'm sure it's Portuguese it's not Russian shut your mouth we are not gonna have ants because this is not Jesus Christ, you <laughs> Now we are gonna have two. <laughs> have you been so, drinking? No, I haven't, but I have a brain frog, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna have two very, very Portuguese dishes now. We are gonna have gambas com alho. Galão. Gambas com alho. That is. That is. <laughs> and ameijos. Ameijos. Ah. Ah. Bulhão. Bulhão pato. Very good. Pato. But pato means uh, duck. duck. Yeah. But no ducks in these shrimps at all. They are quite big actually compared to what we are usually uh, getting. Mm. Are they dazzling? A lot of lemon. Delicious. So I guess they do like lemon with their uh, seafood here in Portugal. Apparently. Do you like me feel like the, the garlic flavor isn't as pungent as you want it to be? The shrimps are amazing but it's like the the juice is not as juicy as I want it to be. Well, the ones I normally have, the sauce, so umoyu, yeah. is a little bit different. So there's more flavor. This is just in in olive oil. I think everyone just does it different. There's so many different recipes for how to cook this. This is just there. So this is the beach of Susimbra. I mean, as a Dane, this is something I will never understand. I hate the idea of being canned tuna or canned sardinias or whatever. But in South Europe, it's like they love it. The closer, the better it, it almost feels like. So I guess it's still one of the cultural barriers we have to break. On Instagram I think I had 20 or 30 people saying you have got to go to Bar do Pesce even though it's 15 minutes drive out of the city but then again 15 minutes that's basically nothing they already got a table with two beautiful boys the boys our boys <laughs> <laughs> do, do we have to do we have to take it all yeah that's the smallest fish that I've got and how much is the kilo price Ah, that's too much. It's <laughs> too much for a fish, yes, I know. See you on the plate. Cheers on an excellent day. Salute. Salute. I am not jealous on your wine and sangria. What number of bottle is this, Jason? Who's keeping count? Your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the final fish and dish of the seafood tour epicness in Sisimbra is uh, served. We are having a cantarillo, or in English, a redfish. Kind of a local here. I'm just gonna dive in. Beautiful. Actually, it's beautiful. I think this is the best fish we've had today. And the view here is the best as well. So I agree that this, the texture of this fish is very similar to bacalao. It's got that flaky, almost you can push on it and then a big piece slides out. Full of flavour, but if you don't like the texture of bacalao then it's not going to be your kind of fish. Very different to dourada, very different to robalo. Dourada and robalo are the best. 
But I think the whole point of doing these uh, seafood tours and food tours is just to explore as much different as possible. Cheers guys! You want to sit in the middle of the camera, but also take up the space like a fucking So toy. guys, how did you like my vlog today? <laughs> Was this the best seafood uh, we've had in Lisbon and around? I think that it's a myth that the best seafood in Portugal comes from Sissimbra. And I think it's mostly because Portuguese seafood is in general quite high quality. It wasn't the best we've had. We've had better uh, seafood in Lisbon, uh, mm -hmm. but the prices is definitely lower, much lower. I would agree. The seafood's good. Is it the best marisk? The best fruits do mar? Fruits do mar. I mean, we are off the beach. We're next to the water. And I know you get that in Lisbon, but there's something very special about kind of where we are right now. It's so calm, it's so peaceful. Yeah. And that makes, for me anyway, the food taste better. Obrigada por ver o vídeo. Inscreva-se no canal e clique no botão. Até logo. Até logo. Até logo. Até logo. Até logo. Tchau, tchau. Why do you always do this? Because I'm shutting it down. She's now. grabbing. Them. Yeah, but you have to go all the way, like. Well, you're gonna. Ooh. Ah. <gasps> Jesus Christ, you. Like this is when you wanna get really drunk. Yeah. Peter's up. Peter's up. Peter's up.